Webflow just released component slots. Here's everything you need to know about this new powerful feature. The slot element only appears when we're inside a component. So if we edit this component, we now have an option for a slot. We can drag multiple slots anywhere we'd like inside the component. We can also apply classes and stylings to those slots, and we can change the tag of the slot if we'd like. Now, if we select our entire component, by adding a slot, it created a component prop and we'll call this our icon slot. We can also connect the visibility of a slot to a component field. So we'll call this icon visibility and we'll set this to hidden by default. So now on our entire component, we can enable the slot and then we can drag something inside it. Now at the time of recording this video, regular elements cannot go inside a slot, only components can go inside of a slot. So with the slot selected, I'll add any of my icon components. I'll add in this arrow for this one. And for this one, I'll go ahead and add in my download component here. Also, when we're inside of a component, a slot can't currently be placed directly inside of a link block, collection item, rich text, form block, locales wrapper, or search. But when we're outside of a component and we just have a regular link block here, we could take a component that contains a slot and place that inside of a link block or a collection item or any of these things. It's just inside the component itself. We can't have a link block wrapped around the slot. Now, sometimes we want a slot on a child component to be able to carry up to the parent component. So here our entire hero section is the component and we want to swap out this icon for each instance of the hero section. Now to do that, we're going to delete the icon from our button component and inside the button slot, we're going to drop another slot. And by having this nested slot here, it applies a component prop to the entire hero section. So we can place anything inside of this hero slot and it will go into the button slot. So let's go ahead and drop in our download icon and it's applied to the button. Another great use case for slots is building flexible section components. Here we have a benefits section and inside of this component, let's go ahead and drop in a slot. We'll give this a class name and we'll give it a class of a three column grid. Let's select the entire component and rename the slot to be something like card list. So this can hold all our cards. Before slots, we would have to create a component field for each possible card. So card one title, card two title, and we'd have to limit ourselves to a certain number of cards inside this component. But now with slots, we just have this empty three column grid and we can paste in however many cards or really any type of element we want into this slot, making this section much more flexible. And we can select an individual card and edit any of its component fields. So it's text here. The only thing we can't do is edit its structure while it's inside of a slot. So if we double click, it won't actually allow us to get into this. But if we have that same component outside of a slot, we can edit the structure from there and it will affect all of the related components. In most Webflow builds, we have a page wrapper that holds our custom code navbar and footer and a page main tagged as main that holds all of these sections on the page. Whenever a marketer is building out a new page, it's really easy for them to drag a section outside of that page main by mistake. And if we ever need to add new elements to every page of our site, like maybe a transition div or a chat bot or something else, then we have to go to every single page and paste this new element into the page wrap. A component slot could potentially solve those issues though. So if we turn our entire page wrapper into a component with our custom code nav and footer inside, then we could have a slot for our page main with a tag of main to hold all our sections so that if we add any new elements inside this page wrap component, it's going to automatically be added to every page since it's all referencing one component. If we need to add attributes to these elements for different libraries, we can apply that. And again, it will affect every page. And when it comes to page building, there's really only one place we can put these sections. So it becomes much harder to break. We can just drop a new section directly into this slot. One update I would love to see eventually is the ability to define defaults for a component slot so that when we drop in a component, its slot isn't empty, but maybe it has one of these elements in here by default. I'd love to hear how you're using component slots. Let me know in the description below. Components are the future of building scalable sites in Webflow. If you'd like to level up your components even more, check out this next video.